Happening today, we go will dedicate a transit center to a Nashville pioneer, the first African American female bus driver in the city. It's such an honorable gesture. Tony Sloan joins us live here in downtown Nashville with more. So, uh, Tony, good morning to you. What time do uh, things get started there? Hey, good morning, Ben. So the ceremony is set to start at 10 o'clock this morning here at the Wego Central on Martin Luther King Boulevard. This is where Wego Public Transit staff, community members, and lawmakers would join the family of Elizabeth Duff to officially rename Wego Central the Elizabeth Duff Transit Center. And what a legacy she leaves behind. Growing up in a segregated Nashville in the 50s, Duff once tried to sit at the front of a public city bus where a sign warned that seats were for whites only. Her mother quickly pulled her back, but her family says she had a determination that only pushed her forward. A drive that put Duff at the front of a, the bus later in her life. She became the first African-American bus operator in Nashville when she was hired by the MTA in 1974. Breaking those gender and color barriers also meant that Duff, she endured sexism and racism. In that male-dominated field, people sometimes questioned her ability to drive and said hurtful things to her from the seats behind. But she kept driving and leaving a legacy behind. She died in 2021 at the age of 72 from COVID-19. Now, at this ceremony later this morning, there's going to be new signage and a rendering ceremony of future historic displays. Mayor Freddie O'Connell will speak, as well as Duff's husband, Wego says it's an honor to spotlight someone who was a trailblazer right here in Nashville. They do have the sign up right now, but later this morning is when they're going to officially declare this building and make that announcement. I'll send it back to you in the studio.